qualification for the British Water Polo Championships is well underway, but among the excitement, a feeling of shock. UK Sports is cutting £4.5 million of funding ahead of the 2016 Olympics due to slim medal prospects. Nothing's changed in the last 10 months. They're, they're on track to do what they're, what they're set out to do. So I think if they were in a position to be funded 10 months ago, I don't see what's changed. Having represented GB in London, Adam knows the excitement of playing in the Olympics, but is worried about the future. Yeah, it's incredible. Um, once in a lifetime opportunity and it's, it's sad that it looks like it's going to be a long time before GB there again. There was further disappointment among coaches, fans and parents who think UK sports are making a big mistake. The sports that have been given funding at the higher level don't reflect what kids are going to be doing in primary school. The increased funding to things like equestrian, fencing, to me it's a, it's a complete misnomer. It should be spread out more evenly rather than given to the elites who still become more elite and become like the Premiership in football. Olympic winners in the past, so should uh, definitely be given some money. We pay hundreds of pounds out every month. We've travelled the country. When he played in Sunderland in the qualifiers, the atmosphere was fantastic. We've got facilities like Manchester, we've got facilities like Sunderland. The facilities are there. We just need the money to get the guys in one place and train them. Barring a successful appeal in March, though, the championships may be the best they can hope to compete in for now. The men, realistically, I don't think will qualify for Rio. The women, with UK sport funding, I think they'll um, qualify. If the funding doesn't get reinstated, then it'll be tough. Will Moorcroft, Keys News, from the Manchester Aquatic Centre.